Well, new at 530, a King William County woman's life has been changed forever by a gunshot wound to her face. Now a judge has decided the fate of the man who pulled the trigger. CBS 6's Brendan King was in the courtroom when that verdict came down. Selena Spurlock walks out of the King William Courthouse Thursday disappointed. I don't feel like I got justice at all. On November 14, 2020, Marcus Holman admits he shot and seriously injured his former girlfriend with a shotgun blast. Testifying in court, he was upset and angry when she wouldn't let him inside her house. But the judge sided with the defense, striking down the most serious aggravated malicious wounding charge when the Commonwealth could not prove Holman intended to hurt Spurlock when he shot a shotgun two times in the air. You pointed it at me. They struggled with it, trying to take it from him. But yet you didn't, they didn't see, they get up there and deny that. But Holman told the judge no lights were on in the house and he couldn't see Spurlock standing at the bathroom window when she was on the phone with police. We are no better than our evidence. And it's clear that when my client did the acts, the Commonwealth's witnesses, as well as my client, stated that he was upset, angry, and he was less than happy at the time these things occurred. Holman's defense attorney, Brent Jackson, calls the shooting a heat of passion crime. His client faced up to life in prison, but instead the judge convicted the 47-year-old of unlawful wounding, which carries up to five years in jail plus three gun charges. Basically, Braille is made of up six dots. The shooting changed the mother of two's life forever. I know that start because it's, it's a different texture. The blast permanently blinded her. This is the edge. And basically, you're just supposed to use a swipe in motion. Forcing her to relearn how to navigate life without her eyesight. And he has much regret and much remorse. And I think that he would like at one point in time, if possible, to tell her I'm sorry in person. Would you want to hear an apology from No. Him? No. Sorry won't change anything. Sorry won't change the fact that you almost took my life. Sorry won't change the fact that I have to learn how to live all over again in a different way. Me and my kids, we have to adjust to that. After the four convictions on this Thursday, Judge Bondurant then set a pre-sentencing report to be scheduled on April 4th at 1 p.m.